The Sun is a giant power station for the solar system, providing much of the heat and energy that we receive here on Earth. But where does the Sun's energy come from and how does it escape? I'm a physicist at the Centre for Inertial Fusion Studies at Imperial College London and the work we do here is about trying to understand the conditions in the heart of the Sun and all stars. It's a really exciting field because scientists have gone from in 1920 not understanding how stars work at all to now being able to recreate stars in the laboratory for a fraction of a second. And how do we do it? It's using one of these, a laser. Now this one isn't going to be big enough to do the job, but fortunately the new Orion laser is big enough. Colin Danson is the person who built it. Orion is based at AWE Aldermaston and is one of the country's largest scientific projects. The facility is based in a building which is the size of a football pitch. The facility uses a combination of long pulses and short pulses to generate powers in excess of the entire UK national grid, but only for a millionth millionth of a second. The unique capabilities of the facility allow experiments to be conducted in material science, laboratory astro and plasma physics relevant to fusion studies. So we can use lasers to put energy into a tiny amount of matter in a very short space of time and recreate the conditions inside the heart of the sun. But what is the stuff that we've created? Professor Steve Rose explains. The stuff that we've created is a plasma. Um, a plasma is a very hot gas. Uh, it's so hot in fact that the electrons that normally orbit the atoms in the gas become ionised, they become dissociated from the atoms. And the reason that we're interested in it is that those sorts of conditions happen in the middle of the sun. Um, the very extreme conditions we're talking about are temperatures as high as uh, well over 10 million degrees centigrade and densities as high as well over 100 times that of water or if you put it another way if you took a cup of water it would have a, de it would have a mass over 100 kilograms and these extreme conditions are generated by the laser Orion and that's um, a very exciting thing to be able to do. But why would we want to recreate the insides of stars? Steve Rose again. The insides of stars are fascinating because they um, are important from a scientific point of view. Uh, I'm interested particularly in how energy gets transported from the inside of the sun, which is where the nuclear fusion reactions take place, to the outside of the sun where the energy gets radiated away and some of it hits the earth. And of course the sun is just one star and in understanding the sun we stand a pretty good chance of better understanding all the stars in the universe. The Sun is also particularly interesting from a practical point of view as well, in that if we ever want to recreate the conditions that take place in the middle of the Sun on Earth um, and generate energy, our own star energy on Earth, then we need to better understand how the middle of the Sun operates and that's what these experiments are about. So for the first time, we're on the verge of being able to recreate the conditions inside stars using high power lasers such as Orion. Not only will this help us understand our own Sun, but it also takes us a step closer to being able to recreate star power here on Earth and all of the advantages of clean and abundant energy that that would provide.